that many closed door meetings are underway in New York as we speak, including the one we just heard about in that report, focusing on calls from members of the EU and other nations as well for a two state solution. That call is nothing new. But how would a message like that, a meeting like that, impact? the current rapprochement, the efforts for some kind of normalization down the line between Israel and Saudi Arabia at the behest of Washington. So as you mentioned, this message is not new, uh, but it is being uh, repeated in the context of a possible normalization between Israel and Saudi Arabia. And I think the underlying message is that, uh, at least coming from Saudi Arabia to Israel, is that unlike what happened with the uh, Normalization with the UAE, with Bahrain, and Morocco, uh, Israel wouldn't be wouldn't be able to get such normalization without at least a gesture or some kind of commitment on the Palestinian issue and on the two-state uh, solution. Because it was the case, in fact, uh, that the three Arab countries I just mentioned did normalize the relation with Israel without any even a gesture, except the suspension on the freezing of uh, Israel's uh, annexation plan at the time uh, for the UAE. Uh, at the time, as I said, uh, except for this freeze, there was no actual uh, move uh, on the Palestinian issue. And this time, I think the Saudis are telling Israel, in our case, uh, we would expect and we would even demand uh, some kind of concrete gesture. The New York Times reporting just a short while ago that Biden aides and Saudi aides have been exploring a defense treaty modeled on an Asian pact as some kind of incentive to try and make this normalization deal work down the line. What are your thoughts on that possibility and how it's likely to be received by Israel specifically? So obviously the uh, Asian uh, case and the Middle Eastern case are very different because in the case of Asia, of course, uh, the US has a special relationship with India, uh, but also uh, with Australia and the UK, the AUKUS uh, project, and it's directed against China. Uh, in the Middle East, of course, the common enemy would be Iran and not uh, China. Uh, even though Iran itself is backed by China economically and geopolitically. Uh, but the uh, Israel, of course, uh, doesn't really need such an alliance. Israel uh, never really wanted to be part of an alliance, even of, uh, even of NATO, uh, at least in recent years. Uh, as for Saudi Arabia, I think the real incentive for Saudi Arabia would less be a, a regional alliance and more uh, U.S. commitments on uh, a very advanced weaponry and also a civilian nuclear program. So I doubt that the prospect of a regional alliance would really uh, serve as an incentive either for Israel or for Saudi Arabia. Certainly one of the many issues that need to be ironed out in that long, long road to normalization or